All right, how you doing? Uh, today, I'm gonna make a, a smoothie that I'm gonna put in my thermos bottle to take to work with me today. Um, it's just a few a few fruits that uh, it's gonna be really loaded in vitamin C and it's gonna have a whole bunch of stuff that's gonna be a very good smoothie. And I like to have it because it uh, really does keep my hunger under control for a good eight hour shift. And um, it's definitely gonna give me that energy to uh, uh, do what I got to do. I work overnight, so having that extra energy is a big deal. And uh, this is going to be a whole food total juice with the Vitamix. And uh, I wanted another example of liquefying uh, whole foods as to as opposed to my last video because uh, I used frozen fruit and it took quite a while. And I don't want people to get the wrong idea that you need to have the tamper to do anything, you know, with the, with the Vitamix. Uh, it's not true that the machine will do it on its own. It was just so frozen that it was very thick and it took a few minutes to thaw it out. So we're just going to use uh, some whole foods and uh, it's going to be a combination of just regular fresh uh, cold temperature fruit from the refrigerator and some frozen fruit. So I'm going to get started right away and I'll go ahead and explain everything that I'm putting in. So we're going to start off with Take the action dome off. Start off with uh, milk. It's going to be a cup and a quarter. All right. And I'm going to put this here orange. And these are picked green to keep produce from spoiling by the time it gets to the store. So you have to peel the outside of the orange to keep that the bitter taste out but I keep the uh, pith on it because that's where all the vitamin C is as opposed to the uh, just the juice and the uh, pulp on the inside and this will all be completely liquefied and there won't be anything left so I'm gonna get a whole bunch of vitamin C from it and oranges are, uh, because they're full of juice, they're going to add more liquid to the mix. And I just kind of give it a little bit of a cut up. Just like that, so the blades will catch it and pull it in real easy. I'm going to add some pineapple. I'm going to add pineapple. It's from a cut pineapple fresh. And core, core and everything goes in there. I really don't uh, I really don't skimp out on putting pineapple in there. Once it's liquefied, there'll be nothing left. And lots of vitamin C. I think another piece will be good. I'm happy with that. I make this smoothie virtually every day. It's very, very good. I love it. Let's see, what else would I put an apple in there? Any kind of apple you want. These are either Gala or Fuji apples. I don't know. I don't I just grab apples that look tasty and are a good price at the store. I put the whole thing in there, I just wash it. I'm not concerned about wax and none of that stuff. Wax is not going to kill you. So I just kind of just chop it up a little bit to get as much as I can fit it into this container because there's going to be more being put in there. But the whole thing goes in there. Seeds, skin, stem, everything. I'm not worried about cyanide or anything. You need a whole lot of cy uh, 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 You need literally pounds of apple seeds in order to get enough cyanide to kill you. And just one or two apples eating the seeds is not going to kill you. The body can take care of that level of cyanide. Don't be scared. Eat them. They're good for you. You got a lot of vitamins. Uh, let's see. I'm going to add some kale. I add kale to the mix. That's got good vitamins too. Good fiber. I just get 
Yeah, about a handful. That's good for me. Let's see, what else? I'm going to take my frozen banana and throw that in there. These bananas are very ripe when they were frozen, or they were very ripe when they were, when they were frozen. So they're gonna add a le level of creaminess to the smoothie and sweetness, as well as the uh, vitamins and minerals that go with bananas. Okay, then I add, I add flaxseed and chia. Again, flax seeds for some health benefits there and some energy, some more energy. I add about a teaspoon and chia seeds. Also great vitamins and all that good stuff. But more so, the chia seeds absorb a lot of the uh, water. So it gives it, uh, it thickens up the the smoothie even more and that's important because it kind of slows down the uh, uh, it, it sits more in your stomach for a, for a while it doesn't just go through and then you know next thing you know 10 minutes later you go in the bathroom now this helps uh, kind of keep you feeling fuller longer and uh, that keeps hunger down it's very good chia seeds are uh, they're not really that expensive, but it depends on where you are, I guess. Let's see, that, that's, I'm going to add a little bit of honey. I have it in these plastic bags because ants love the honey, and I have a big problem with ants. Mm. Add about a tablespoon there. Yeah, ants are pretty much a plague in my house. Even with the uh, exterminators coming and treating the house every now and then, they still come in there and raid all of my stuff. And the rest is going to be filled with uh, ice cubes. But what I'm going to do is just add the ice cubes while the machine is running because it's kind of full right now. ice cubes will be good now I might have some overage on this I typically do so I just kind of you know have a glass of it ready to enjoy and that should be it yeah I have my orange pineapple apple banana kale okay that's my little checklist action dome is in place might need my tamper a little bit. I'll just have that ready. And so this is very simple. I'm just going to have high speed and uh, just have it. Uh, I'll probably reverse it a couple times and try and get it to uh, get drawn into the blades. <clears throat> so here we go. High speed. Up. <laughs>
good to me. Take the action dome off. And now I'm going to pour that in here. Some bubbly bubbles. Uh, pretty. That was actually pretty good. I don't have that much overage left. <laughs> Yeah, I had virtually no overage left, but that was it. My smoothie is ready for tonight. All right, thanks for watching.